All right. Uh, as an expert, in your own opinion, I want to believe uh, uh, there are several areas we can explore when we talk about uh, environmental uh, sustainability. Now, in your opinion, how can we achieve that, bearing in mind uh, the challenges government face in ensuring that the public adhere to regulations guiding sanitation and physical uh, cleanliness? Yes, thank you. So uh, sanitation, as well as the physical cleanliness of our environment, has been a top burner issue for a while now because of the implications that they have on economic growth as well as health and well-being. Um, I remember as a young boy, I was raised in the beautiful city of Jos. Um, a day every month was dedicated to environmental hygiene and sanitation. On such days, people don't go to work, people don't have you know, activities you know, that they typically do. Um, and it, I think it used to be on Saturdays, and um, people just stay around their communities and clean up everywhere. And if you're found anywhere else, you get penalized. Um, certain societies have been able to perpetrate such provisions. In Uganda, they have what they call the Umuganda, uh, which translates loosely in the dominant uh, Rwandan language to mean coming together. In the past, before 2009, when it was reintroduced by President Paul Kagame, um, that arrangement used to be a platform for political um, mobilization. But it has now been dedicated to community cleanup. That is how we used to achieve cleanliness in the past. Okay. We have gone, we have strayed away from such practices that have kept our environment sane and clean. And of course, achieving uh, this kind of clean environment means that both the government and the individual citizens must come together to achieve this. The government providing certain infrastructure, the citizen having the right kind of mindset. Of course, this starts with education and building an awareness. Okay. That